Hey guys, Pastor Preston is my name. I'm so excited to come your way. I was talking with someone yesterday, as a matter of fact, a pastor, General Vasia. He said, while I was in the Bible school, that, um, you know, a couple of people, pastors, and a lot of people were charging him up uh, to get married. And as a matter of fact, they kept quoting, you know, the Bible says, he that finding a wife, finding a good thing, you know, you can't do ministry without a woman, you cannot do ministry successfully without a wife, that there's some kind of glory, favor that a woman brings to your life when you get married to help you excel in ministry, blah, blah, blah. And he says, well, quickly, when he, when he graduated from Bible school in Benin City, he just quickly got married, and he says, that's where everything just got messed. You know, so I'm talking to you, he's not excelling in the ministry, he's confused, the woman has messed his whole life up, and so many things had gone wrong in his life. As I was just talking to him, I was just feeling his pain, and something came into my mind very speedily. That scripture that says, it is better to dwell on top of the roof than to live with a nagging woman. Yeah, that's true. And quickly, a lot of thoughts started coming. The scripture says in Colossians 2.10, right? It says, um, we're complete in Christ. It didn't say Christ and any other thing, including the wife. It's important that we put things in the right context. Maybe because uh, the King James had put it to say, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtains favor from God. Right? That's Proverbs chapter number 18.22. Right? But the truth is, in the original Hebrew, it was not placed like that. The King James had just put it in that way. The word there find it favor in the hebrew is the word route sin and route sin just mean delight right or god is excited right glory to god so we need to put things right so it's not to say when we find a wife god now gives us a special favor that he will not have given us if we don't find a wife let's ask a simple question that means jesus didn't obtain favor from god because he didn't get married paul and all the other disciples he didn't get married they obtained favor from god but we could see how favor their life really showed up as a matter of fact he's the one granting us all favor so you could see that something will be wrong, yeah? That's true. We need to put things in the right context. So what that scripture just simply means is um, it is God's delight or God is excited when a man finds a good spouse. Another translation actually used the word when a man finds a good spouse. Maybe the message translation, glory to God somebody. So it's important that we get that right, okay? Otherwise, we'll be messing up our, our life. A lot of people have gotten married and made made a mess of their life as a matter of fact paul said in first corinthians chapter number seven verse number eight he says they are married and the one who had lost his husband right it's better for them to live single he said so he said i desire that you live single right even though he said i didn't say this as a commandment from god but he says the guy who is married should stay married but of course if you're not married or you lost your spouse he says stay single think about that because the point is it is easier for you to manage your life alone than to carry people who you can understand, who you can manage properly, who you guys are not compatible, who you guys cannot agree, can have understanding, you will just make a whole lot of mess out of your life. One of the dangerous things is the fact that a man is emotionally attached to a woman, right? And of course, in that emotion, the woman seems to have power over him. So if the woman is senseless, if the woman is not smart, if the woman had so many things gone wrong in her life, she could use that to manipulate the man in a wrong direction. Think about Samson. Right, Delilah did not mean to do what she wanted to do, but she was not smart. I'm thinking, right, what about Adam? Think, right, the devil was so smart, was so subtle to, de to deceive her, and of course, all the problem came. In Timothy, Bible says Adam was not deceived. As a matter of fact, uh, Paul also said that uh, it was the woman who was deceived by the cunningness of, of the serpent. Glory to God, somebody. Of course, in Revelation 2, part says uh, the, the old serpent, who is the devil, right, that deceived the world. So look at that. It, it was easy for them to deceive the woman. And because the man is sentimentally attached, emotionally attached to the woman, right, they got deceived as well. Even though if the woman was not there, all that would not have happened. So think properly, right? So don't just get attracted to a woman and you jump in. No, 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 sir. Look for what you truly need, what your life really needs, what will be best for your life. Someone first, someone that we align with values that means we share the same values right we're trying to head the same way haven't seen that as first criteria then you move to the next and say okay even though we share the same value we're going to the same direction now personally do we fit right do our characters match can we cope with each other 
Can we really enjoy each other? Do I excite you? Do you excite me? Do I know how to be patient with you? Do you know how to be patient with me? If we can align all that properly, then we can say it's a go ahead. Of course, that's why it now says God is delight when we make a great choice. You know why it's delight? Because if we make a great choice that fits us, we will fulfill all the things that God has called us to do. And then the pleasure will also make sense. But if, of course, if you make the wrong choice, God can be delighted. God can be excited because it's going to cause you a lot of problems. So we use an Hebrew word, route sin, which means God is excited because God always wants the best for us. Yeah? Because, and the truth is, so someone said, but I, uh, Pastor Preston, I know a lot of people who got married and things just started working right for them because they made the right choice. He wasn't trying to say they began to obtain favor. No, because when two makes a right choice, they get a better re reward for what they do. That's what the scripture says. That's the truth. It's like partnership. You see, if I, if I can do something right, okay, you know the kind of result I'll get. If I find another person who can do it the same way and adds up with me, of course, you know the result will multiply. That's natural, you see. But if we come together and we're clashing, we can put us together, we can partner properly, then we're going to make a whole lot of mess of all the things we're supposed to do. So it's very important that you make the right choice for your future's sake, for your happiness' sake. You see, one of the biggest things that I need to tell people all the time, what a man truly wants or a woman truly wants is peace and excitement. If they get that, they'll be fine, they'll be strong to be able to do all the things that they have to do. But when a man is depressed, when a man is not excited, there'll be trouble. He will not be able to do all those things that God has called him to do. So it's important that you make the right choice. If you can't make the right choice, it is better to be alone than to make the wrong choice because the wrong choice will produce the wrong result out of your life. Watch this. You live with your spouse all the time. That means you talk to them. You listen to them. If they're not right, they'll influence you wrongly. Because you need to understand that what we produce is a, is a product of our influence. And whoever is talking to us all the time is the one influencing us. And of course, will determine what will come out of our life. So you must make the right choice for your future. So you don't get into a mess. Okay, Pastor Preston, but you see, it's not easy to stay single, right? People have done it. People have been granted grace. Jesus spoke about it. You see, there's some people who have grace not to even get married. There's some people who have been made not to get married right uh by the things that you have chosen to do by men and all those things that he stated so it's important that you understand that it is possible for you not to get married and if you want, want to get married and you must get married then you must do it right you must do what you have capacity for you must do what you can manage you can handle you can still be seen doing it and doing what you have been called to do because you need to understand that we're not created to marry we're created to fulfill a purpose marriage is one of those things that God added to bring us comfort. That's why it was brought after the whole creation had been done. It was something that was just brought to say, well, why are you trying to fulfill what you need to do? Have it for comfort. And I like to tell people all the time, I said, marriage is for a refresh. Yeah. When you're done with all the busy schedule at work and all that, you come home, you just want someone that's just going to be cold water to your head. You know, someone that's just going to bring your, your body down and calm you down so you can be refreshed and you can be fresh for a, a new day with fire and passion to run. But you see, when you go all through the task in the office and you're done all that plenty job and then you come home to meet frustration come home to meet pain come home to meet terror come home to meet all that pain at home i tell you brother you live short. That's true. Because your brain is just going to knock one day. You're going to, you know, you, you might just die before your time. You can even be pressed to do some wrong things. You know a lot of people who have done wrong things, killed their wife, killed their husband, and do all of all this stuff. A lot of them might not have done it, not if they had made the right choice. You see, because the wrong people, if you're not careful, can make you wrong. They can produce a character that you were not trained that way. You see, because of the pressure. So while they're giving you pressure, somehow Satan could set you up to begin to watch movie where women had to take action to mess the man up because the man is oppressing them and of course before you see you'll be landed in jail be careful be, be wise make the right decision so you don't mess your whole life up thank you for listening i believe this brings you a lot of blessings share this with someone and help them build their life properly right so they can be excited with that one life that god has called them to lead and then they will live it well thank you god bless you i love you i'll see you again next time amen